Hey guys, thanks for joining in. I got Scout with me and we're in the woods today. Last night and yesterday, all day was crazy weather. We had 50 kilometer, kilometer an hour to 90 kilometer an hour winds. So I needed, I wanted to come out here today to the woods just to check on my shelter, see if it's still standing. If you look around, I'll show you, there's trees down everywhere. Let's get going back over to the shelter and uh, check her out. Fingers crossed, guys. Yeah, solid as ever. That's all right. You can see the only real damage done to it is some leaf litter blown off the top. Really, it's all structurally fine still, and most 90% of the leaf litter is still on. And the stuff that did fall off, I mean, is not hard to patch. This is good to go in my books. I'm very happy. Everything else around it has been blown over by the wind, and these leaves are somehow still on here, which is fantastic. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning, it's 1 degree Celsius, or 34 degrees Fahrenheit, I believe. <clears throat> I came out here super early so that I can get a full day's uh, in the bush. I meant to do, I wanted to do an overnighter, it's just not going to happen right now, maybe next week it can, I just, I can't right now with, uh, with the family stuff going on today, so, or right now. So what I want to do, uh, biggest thing I want to do today is make a big fire and cook some food. I want to go around and clean up with my saw, some of the blowdown that the wind blew down all these hardwood trees around. I can go clean around, clean, clean it up, cut up some firewood, maybe even make a splitting log? A splitting stump? Um, yeah, and just a couple other camp stuff, but uh, just basically hang out in the woods today. So let's go get a fire going. This is some willow I grabbed on the way in. You can see if you look here, it's spalted. You can see it there. It's called spalted. It's kind of got like a stage of decay. So it's very, very easy to carve into. It makes super good shavings. They're very tight curls, which isn't the greatest, but there's gonna be a lot of them and they're dry and they can powder up when I crush them. So it will work very well. Just making some quick shavings here. I'm going to light the fire and have it growing as I'm collecting wood and processing wood. I just got a little bit to start it off with. Look at that. See how just easy this digs into it. I'm using a Deering EDC bushcraft knife. It's five, three thirty seconds thick. Nice and thin. Okay. Because the ground is very wet, we're going to line the fire pit. 
just cut up a bunch of that willow that I was using for shavings line the fire pit with that'll be more than plenty build the fire right up on there that'll build my coal base and uh, let it burn better so we've got our platform here next thing we need is our brace I'm gonna grab some shavings not all of them just yet Get some curls and we'll drop some on top of those go try and put them on slowly so you don't smother the flame I'm just gonna dump the rest of the shavings right on top remember what I said about not smothering it <laughs> and then here's where the brace comes in the brace actually should be higher up than the shavings. so let's do this and then we'll just brace our twigs right on top and that'll get going in no time I have no doubt about that new dude to boot it this uh, big old dead seasoned red oak fell over here we can go get some limbs off of it and that wood will burn forever it's a big old tree man Yeah, that's some dry wood, man. Nice. What I think I'm going to be doing is just going around picking up lots of sticks like this that have fallen off and feeding the fire that way uh, until I get to the bigger stuff like this. But a quick way, a nice easy good way to saw something if you don't want to bend over and saw like that, you can actually just stand up, use your foot and your body to hold the, the piece of wood and to move it back and forth. You don't even need to cut it the whole way. Actually, I usually don't. I'll stop there, cut my next length, just eye your lengths. I'm kind of pulling this stick in as I'm sawing. So I'm getting like a double saw action. Then, it's just a matter of breaking the pieces off. Easy and then feeding the fire. Leave it, leave it, Scout. It's not your stick, bud. Do I have a boogie? No boogie? All good? I ain't got no type. Split that down and get some good firewood out of that. So this is a little axe, and this is a big piece of very, very hard wood, okay? So this is expected. Sometimes it'll get stuck in there. It's not gonna just split through every time, even though this is per relatively straight-grained wood, red oak. Uh, but what you can do sometimes, not all the time, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it's dangerous. Where my camera is right now is kind of dangerous. You can flip this upside down and use the momentum and the weight, actually just the weight, of the log to split itself, hammer pull down. So we're gonna try that without breaking my camera, sending the wood flying to my camera. So, I did hear a crack. It did not just split easily all the way through, but I did hear a crack, which means it probably did split. So we'll just give it another hit, and if we have to flip it around again, we will. And in that time, I think it did it. It did, but holding on a little bit. I'm 
We'll give it one more hit. If it doesn't split through, we'll do it again. There we go. So not too bad. Got some some ants in there. All right, my little heavy cover canteen. Serving me well still, loving this thing. I'm gonna do up some hot chocolate while we're waiting for the coals and waiting for it lunchtime. I'm really not hungry just yet. So make up some hot chocolate. Use the old wooden wooden rack, wooden grate, wooden grill, and we'll give her a little fan. I got my trusty black pad. No blue foam pad, black foam pad today. Just give her a little a little air, she should go up like nobody's business. What a good idea probably is to do, I have gloves so it's no big deal, but to hang the, the handle off where the, where the flames aren't really gonna reach too much, because it is titanium and that gets out. Yep, it doesn't matter. It's gonna touch it anyway. Yeah, maybe, maybe that'll do something. Well, that fire worked out real good, that wooden grill. My hot chocolate's done. The sun's out, and I'm very warm now. It was all cold and wind and no fire and no hot chocolate, and then all of, all, all of the sudden, you know what a pet peeve of mine is? When people say all of the sudden. It's all of a sudden. All of a sudden. Not all of the sudden. Not all of the sudden. Grammar police, Joe. So what's new, guys? What's new? I think I'm going to do an overnight very soon, like I wanted to do today, but couldn't. Um, I'm gonna build a miniature super shelter, I believe. Do a whole new spot, just a one night super shelter thing. Tear it all down when I'm done, have no remnants of where I was or anything. I think I'm gonna do it out of my Hidden Woodsman haversack, because it's very small, and um, it'll make me use way more natural materials and tools. No, not tools. Way more natural materials and less tools and less stuff to last the night. I probably won't bring Scout just because he's not asking to do a, a minimal overnighter. You know what I mean? He doesn't... I'm not going to bring much food. I don't have room for much food. I don't have room for an extra blanket for him and stuff. So he's not asking to do that. I'm not going to make him go. <clears throat> Even though I'm sure he'll be fine with it. But uh, he's been with me the past, I don't know, quite a few videos. So we'll do one by myself, I think. I know a few of you guys voiced your opinion on my last video about um, not really enjoying the family stuff as much. And I get that. But the fact of the matter is, they've always been a part of my channel. I haven't made a family video in about two or three months, at least, guys. So you gotta, you gotta bear with me. Every now and then I'm gonna put up a, a family video. And I know there are people who like it and some people who don't, but my, the, the outline of my channel is not going to change, guys. You know what I mean? The, I'm going to continue doing these super like cool bushcraft overnighter trips and um, yeah once it, once spring starts some really cool canoe trips and stuff like that which is what I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to do a 10 day woodland caribou trip which is really cool. Fly in, fishing with the canoes and stuff so pumped for that. There has been a whole lot of new bushcraft YouTube channels coming along which I think is pretty cool. 
the uh, the whole genre is booming. It, it was nothing, man. When I started this stuff six, seven, even longer years ago, uh, there was not many. Hob XP, you guys remember him? Hobby XP, H O B B E XP, I think it was. A guy from like Sweden, somewhere around those those parts. He used to do awesome uh, bow drill videos, and he didn't talk much. Freddie was his name, Freddie. But uh, he's been around for a long time. I don't see nothing from from that guy. But lots of new, lots of new channels and some good ones, some really good ones. Scaring me a bit. I gotta step up my game, guys. Freaking scrambled though with his cinematography. <laughs> Not that he's new. He's been around now. Good guy. Good buddy. Ooh, Mike from TA Outdoors. He's blowing up a little bit right now, doing his camp stuff, which is cool. Watching those two guys doing their camp videos kind of maybe want to come out here like I said I wanted to do the the overnighter but when I couldn't do that I kind of got discouraged and was like screw it I'm not gonna go at all but sitting at home watching those guys videos again I liken it to watching skateboarding videos when I was younger I used to skateboard and get all hyped up for it so I appreciate that guys both of you Mike and uh, Martin and where's Zed at where has Zedward been I got a message from him not too long ago said he's been busy and uh, he'll be starting to do some stuff again soon I miss his uh, Hi guys, how you doing? This is Zed from Zed Outdoors. Hope you're having a great day. Was that was that MCQ? No, MCQ is. Uh... Hi guys, it's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft. Hi guys, it's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft. <laughs> no hate at all, guys. No hate. It's all love. I, I really enjoy all your channels. It's funny. I can't do Mike. I can't do uh, TA Outdoors Mike. It's a different British accent. I know he does this a lot with his hat. Where's my hat? I could do that a lot. Do that motion. How do we do it? Hi oh, guys, time for another camp update. Got my dad with me. He's a nut nutter. He's a real nutter. I can't do it. <laughs> Again, no hate. Don't judge me either on my accents. Somebody do an accent to me. One of you guys. One of you guys. Try to mimic my Canadian this, eh? Eh? Talk about that, bud. Where's she going, eh, bud? Mm. Oh, that's as hot as lava. burning ash right now. There's a lot of dead ash from the emerald ash borer. And it's good firewood for a while and then it kind of gets a little punky but this stuff's pretty solid still. This log here, not this one, this is my good oak, but this one here has been my chopping log for, I don't know, probably a couple years now. Uh, it's time to change it out regardless if I get a chopping stump or not. Uh, this kind of outlines my camp and I use it to chop on. But as you can see, it's weathering away, it's rotting to nothing from being banged on and from being right in the dirt for so long. So it's like March 4th, I roll over one log, and there's a worm there which could be obviously used for fishing. Eat it if, you're, if you really needed to, in a survival situation, in a survival situation. Haha. -ha. Well, that's a urinal if I ever saw one. Ah, oh, chilly. This fire's died down. The coals are piping hot. The embers are still, still hot, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's get out my food and cook up. Okay, so for food today, I've got a jalapeno cheddar, jalapeno cheddar bogo, a jalapeno cheddar burger. Can you back off a little bit? You think you could vacate the premises? Back. You always make me yell at you. Okay, so I got, uh, yeah, that good burger there. I got some on onion. I've got some french fries. 
Got some mustard. Oh, and a hamburger bun. The old hamburger bun to go with the hamburger. Look at that. Moving on up in the world, boys and girls. Okay. Also, I have a grill. Not my regular grill, not my favorite grill that I like to use, but this one has legs on it. And I knew that I was going to have a big bed of coals. So I brought this one. And I want to slow cook the burger rather than a more of a quick fry, a quick, quick uh, sear. So these coals are very, very hot. I just don't want the ashes to coat the embers after um, it's been cooking for a while. So a good way to tell if it's ready to cook, if it's warm enough to cook, is to be able to hold your hand, the back of your hand there, for three seconds. One, two, and I can barely do that. One, two, three. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're ready to go, maybe a little bit warm, but that's okay. We can wait. We can blow them down and then wait a minute before we put our burger on. We'll put the grill on to get warm. Just kind of packing them all down even. We can blow on it, but this foam pad works really well. Now all that ash is gone. I don't mind if it goes on my food when I blow on it, but it's nice if it doesn't. So that's super hot, way hotter than it was before I blew the ash off. Put the grill that way because that's the way it fits. While my grill is heating up and my fire is cooling down a bit, let's go try to find some hickory bark, the shag bark hickory, to use on the coals while I'm cooking my burger. It'll kind of like uh, hickory smoke it a bit. That's the thought anyway. We should be able to find a shag bark hickory in these woods relatively easy considering we are in a Carolinian forest hickory being one of the dominant trees as well as ash and maple and oak I'm not seeing one we might have to walk here for a minute these hardwood forests are my home I do a lot of stuff up in the uh, Canadian Shield area even boreal area but these hardwood forests, southern Ontario, man, there's nothing like it. There we go, didn't have to walk too far. Okay, so, oh look, even bonus, extra spider webby. So, get a little bit of smoking action going on with these and it'll cook up my burger nice and good. Well, you can see it's starting to smoke a little bit there. It might impart some flavor. This is going to have lots of flavor anyway. Jalapeno and cheddar. Jalapeno and cheddar. There we go. I need to cut up those onions. I feel like making a little plate slash cutting board. So I'll take a piece off of this, uh, this decent sized ash. Get a nice piece of ash, you know? Somewhat straight. That can be my cutting board, that can be my plate. I'm gonna cut these onions super thin. I like thin slices. The burger's almost done. I just wanted to flame broil it a little bit of oak twigs before I take it off oh yeah she's looking good I'm gonna toast my bun up a little bit because that's how I like her she's nice and fatty that's how I like her too
All right. The moment of truth. You know, I got the fries hot. Everything's good. I test this baby out though. She's just dripping. Jalapeno we that's good. That's very good. Jalapeno cheddar bur burger for the win. No bacon. It should have some bacon on it though. I should have brought bacon, grilled it up and put it on. But we'll let it slide this time. Mm. Okay, I'm going to enjoy this. I won't make you watch me eat this. I'll get back to you in a minute. So I've got some fries and a little bit of bun left over. I'm not gonna give him any of the burger because it had onions on it and the jalapenos and stuff, I'm sure aren't the greatest for him. But we'll give him this until we get home. Well, I'm getting very cold now. Fire's dying down. Fire's dead. The coals are dying down. Uh, I don't want to light more because I have to leave in about a half an hour. Go to a parent-teacher thing for uh, Emerald School. And what I do want to do is get my log back, my, my chopping log. Uh, I'm going to find a suitable, dense piece of hardwood, and we're going to cut it up and, and line it there. I'm cold. I gotta work. I gotta get moving, moving around. Get the blood flowing. You know, you know what I'm saying? See, there's a bunch more blowdown right here. This piece looks to be about right, right thickness, the right length, straight enough. So, watch out, buddy. Go around. Yeah, I don't even know if I have to take that end off. I probably will just cut it probably 15 feet up that way. Yeah, this is perfect. Good job, buddy. I broke the log when I dropped it. But it's over there. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay. I gotta get out of here. I'm all packed up, but I can't go without testing out my little splitting log. I think I'm going to make a little bit of kindling up and keep it here for the next time. I'll keep it in my shelter, keep it dry. This is awkward, this big baton. <laughs> So this ash, super dry, nice and straight grain. And no problem splitting this up, using this for kindling next time. My shelter stays, I'd say 90% dry. So I'll have no problem keeping this dry here. Using this in conjunction maybe with uh, Maybe a fire starter next time. I don't ever use fire starters. I'm always using the 
fire steel. Maybe I'll bring like some fat wood or I don't know, a man-made fire starter or something like that. It's always fun to use that stuff. I don't really like to use fat wood and stuff like that because I don't have it around where I live here. Ah, that was my, my thought before. Like, I don't really care anymore. It's just playing around. All, all of it's just playing around now, but before, I never used to want to use birch bark or fat wood because I don't have access to it around here and I thought I should learn with what I do have first, which I've done. Back up, Scope. Back up. I'm using the corner, I think it's the heel to split. I'm kind of like digging it in. The bottom corner, the bottom edge. These are short pieces, they're very easy to split. Okay guys, well unfortunately that has to be it for today. I gotta get out of here. Um, I had a lot of fun. I got some stuff accomplished, ate some good food. So I'm glad I came out. Keep an eye out for my next video. It'll be a solo overnight. It'll be a pretty cool video, something I haven't done in a while. So the people who are still watching, I really appreciate that. It, it, not everybody watches till the end. Only like 20 or 30% of people watch to the end. So if you are watching this, and you haven't subscribed, if you liked what you saw, please give me a subscription. I'm regularly getting bigger views than I have subscribers. So yeah, if you're liking what you're seeing, throw me a subscription. I'll appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Come. I'll see you on the next one. Come. 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 Good boy. Good.